count on. We have some breaking news right now. Action 7 News has learned there is an internal investigation into Bernalillo County Manager Tom Zudnick. County commissioners just got out of a closed door meeting discussing a personnel matter involving him. We do not know exactly what it involves, but we'll have more information coming up on Action 7 News live at 10. A sex abuse scandal has rocked the Diocese of Gallup, and that case is being handled in bankruptcy court. The names of some of those accused abusers are being made public for what is believed to be the first time. Action 7 News reporter Mike Springer takes a look at this court battle. This motion filed in U.S. bankruptcy court names seven men believed to be Franciscan friars as possible sexual abusers. The motion seeks financial and insurance statements from the Providence of St. John's the Baptist and the Providence of Our Lady Guadalupe. The document submitted named Reverend Julian Hartick and Brother Mark Shornack, who are believed to have been accused publicly in the past of abuse. They're now joined by five new names in this motion. According to the court documents, they are Father Ephraim Beltramia, Father Eugene Botello, Father Crispin Butts, Father Finian Connolly, and Father Clementine Waddle. An attorney for the plaintiff says some of the abuse occurred in New Mexico and Arizona. We believe that church officials should go and visit every parish where these men worked and beg anyone with knowledge of these crimes and misdeeds to come forward. Barbara Doris is the outreach director for the Survivors Network of Those Abused by Priest, or SNAP. She says by putting the names of those accused out there publicly, that can encourage other possible victims to come forward. For anyone who's harmed by them to know that there are others who've been accused of this. They don't feel so alone. They feel it's safer to come forward. It's safer to reveal what's happened to them and to begin to heal. According to court documents, the alleged abuse involving those seven clergy happened between the 1960s and 1970s. The Diocese of Gallup says most of those men mentioned now are deceased. A spokeswoman for the diocese tells us none of the clergy mentioned in that motion still work for them. Back to you. Nearly two dozen deaths.